What's up, all my brothers? Welcome back to my upgrade to Hackintosh series where I turned my PC into a mountain lion OSX running machine. This is part three. If you have not seen the other parts in the series, click the links right in front of you. In part one, we took the parts out of the old computer, cleaned off some turtle paste, and in part two, we got all those parts we took out along with some upgraded parts and we put them in the new case. Now to install Mountain Lion OS X on my PC and turn into a Hackintosh. Instead of me showing you this process, I'm going to link you guys to the pros who showed me how to do it. And instead, I'm going to show you the troubleshooting after that I had to go through and during the installation. Now to start off, in the top left hand corner we have Duncan33303, if you haven't subscribed to him, go ahead, he does a lot of cool tech videos, but he has the Hackintosh tutorial. This is a great overview of the entire process, he really shortens the process, and kind of gives you an idea of how much the workload you have to go through. To the right of him we have Marcus Brownlee, who does another great tech videos, he has the Hackintosh Pro Project series, where he made a Mac Pro equivalent in Hackintosh form of course, but it's a great overview. This is a direct link to one of the parts, which is the installation of the software. For the last two on the bottom, we have Hackintosh HD with a dual boot tutorial. This is just a great for those who want to add Windows along with their mountain line. I hack your Mac, who has like about a 15, 16 minute video, just explaining more of what you're already gonna see with the first three videos. Now for the final link we have here is the to the Hackintosh from start to finish series by Bob Roach. If you haven't subscribed to him, subscribe to him now. He is the best Hackintoshing guide person you can find on YouTube. I learned a lot from this guy, especially in this series. He'll explain everything to you from definitions of terms such as kernel, what are kernels, kernel panic, unibeast, multibeast, chameleon, bootloaders, all of that all the way to the entire process from building the computer to installing the software to updating Apple peripherals. He's a really good guide. So now you have all your links. You should watch those before we you move on in this video. But here's some of the troubleshooting that I faced while building my Hackintosh and I'll explain how I solved it. So after going into the motherboard and turning all the modes to AHCI mode and creating my Unibeast drive with a Mac, I plugged it into the computer and I booted off of it and the problem is I would see the Apple logo but then I would get this white screen of death. At this point my monitor was plugged directly into my graphics card so I thought that might be the problem so I took it out and I plugged it in to my motherboard leaving the graphics card inside the computer but then another problem happened the Apple logo comes up and then it would just spin the wheel would spin and I guess it stopped now but it would spin forever and wouldn't stop. At this point now, I admit I was stuck because my situation didn't match any of the videos that I watched. So if you watch my series, one theme is always consistent. The best guide is the Tony Mac x86 forums. So I went there and I put the path on the screen and I found a guide that matched my parts. So now with the guide in hand, this was going to be an easy installation. It even got me all the way to the installation screen as you can see here. So my guide told me to change a few settings in the BIOS and then use the onboard graphics. So I took out my graphics card and then later with Multibeast I can add in the kernels. And then finally to even get past that white screen of death and Apple logo told me to type in this code so I can get to the installation screen. Yes, we made it. Here I am at the installation screen for Mountain Lion. I'm installing it onto my SSD. Now to do this, I was not able to film that portion so I will link you back to Duncan's video where he shows you what is partitioning and using disk utility on Mountain Lion, booting, rebooting to finish the installation. Woo! Seems like we are finally done. No, not yet. Now the final problem that I faced with the Hackintosh was actually being able to boot back into it because this whole time we're using the little USB drive to start Mac. So once I had my Mac running and I turned it off to put my graphics card back in, when I turned it back on, there was no way to get back into the Mac part. So this had made me have to redo the whole process using the USB, reinstalling it. I actually did this maybe two or three times until I figured out what the problem was. And to solve this problem, what I had to do was actually, once I pulled up Mac, is open Multibeast where you get all of your drivers, or as they call kernels, and install a bootloader. And on the bootloaders they have is Chimera. So once I downloaded that, I was able to plop back in to my SSD, no problem. Wow, I think that was a total success on this Hackintosh project. I have a fully functioning system. Let me know in the comments down below, what would you guys like to see next? Uh, maybe my setup, how, the, how it works, and uh, subscribe for more technology videos. Once again, thank you for watching. Click that like button. 
it does let me know you guys care it does let me know you guys like these videos once again thank you it's been real take care